for a huge congratulations British thank champion you, how are you thank feeling you. After yeah that? feeling absolutely elated um, it's been a very strange year and to finish on a high like this is completely unexpected but I'm, I'm so happy and me and my coach are you know going to go over the next couple of weeks and look at um, what 2021 is going to bring us the winning tone 53 one two. how happy were you with that oh I, I was hoping for a little bit more but um with the weather being a little bit colder up here um obviously i'm down in the south so we usually have about three or four degrees warmer um no i'm really happy and it's a, a good end to the season and something to build on for next year it's your longest throw in a few years so you know you must feel in good shape yeah you? yeah absolutely i do feel quite in good shape um i've got a lot of things to work on technically had a couple of injuries in the past couple of years that i'm just getting over now but i feel like i'm going up and onward and um Hopefully, like I said, in 2021, I can open up with a big bang. Yeah, I mean, you've only competed a couple of times this year. So how do you think you will reflect on this year when you, when you look back? I think it's something that, you know, you can't look too harshly on. I know, obviously, we haven't had a lot of opportunities to throw. A lot of people have gone to Europe. Um, I've decided to stay here because next year is a lot of opportunities. Obviously, in 2022, you've got the Europeans, the Worlds and the Commonwealth Games. That's what my eyes are kind of focused on right now. So this year is more or less kind of like a training year, um, trying to focus on like technicalities, like I said, and trying to build on that um, for the next two years. So you were based out in the States for a good few years. You know, how was it? sort of coming back and do you feel quite settled where you are now? Yeah, absolutely. I think coming back, obviously, it's a little bit nerving and you're trying to get into a good routine and program, um, trying to find the right coach for you. It was a little bit unsettling for the first kind of year, but um, obviously this past year it's been a lot better. I'm in a great training group, um, got a really good program ahead of me, so I'm excited for the next kind of, like I said, two years. It's funny, you touched on injuries and just settling back in, I guess, coming back. Do you, yeah, do you feel now that, that kind of adversity has given you the strength to, to move forward to 2021? Oh, for sure, for sure. I think sometimes injuries play a huge issue on the psychology of an athlete. Um, with me, it kind of like builds me up and pushes me forward, knowing that like I can get over this. Um, there's not a barrier that I feel like I can't get over. So hopefully um, in the next couple of years, I can um, throw further and get to the Olympics next year. That will be the goal.